Good morning, campers. Uh, welcome back to our next step of the bush trip. So, uh, we're on the Yosemite to Mariposa, or sorry, the Breckenridge to Mariposa Yosemite bush trip. So, we successfully landed here at uh, Spanish Spring. And uh, we've got more than enough runway left to take off on. Let's just real quick. Check that there's no one else here. There is someone else on the Savage Cub up there, so they might be doing the same thing. But, uh... Doesn't look like anyone's, like, flying right around me right at the moment. So... The next trip is extremely short. Right here. We are here. We're just going here, I think. In V-47. So, from Spanish Spring, make your way northeast, you'll quickly find a main highway, State Route 445, which is what we were following in here in the last video. Uh, running north after a short distance when the mountains begin sloping off to flat ground, the road will fork in two. You want to follow the northwest path. 445 curves around a mountain, standing guard over Palomino Valley, just beyond the peak, straight ahead to the north, stands the area's small, single airstrip. Stopping point for this leg of the trip. Now, this is not the area's small single land strip. It is the area's smallest airstrip. There are, well, there's two right off the screen to the left. There's two to the north, like more airstrips, additional airstrips, places you can land. The two to just to the north are paved. <laughs> there's a glider port to the northwest. So there are a uh, large amount of runways up here. And also, this appears to be a runway that's been heavily fallen into a state of great disuse. So we're going to go for that one. Uh, just from what I was able to gather from looking at it in a uh, aerial view. Let's pop into the pilot seat. Do I have any indication of trim? Let's go back outside. I need to trim. Nope. Trim, 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 trim. Perfect. Alright. Ooh. Uh, the game's loading in Reno, I assume, is why it is uh, hiccuping so much. Do I have my flaps down? I do not. Let's drop those. This is, in fact, a public airport. It is not currently open. I'm assuming COVID has temporary, temporarily closed this airport. Let's get off the ground. Yoink. Into the air with us. Immediately throttle down, make our left turn. And get back over to the highway. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I got a little too close to Sparks to start loading stuff in. Uh. <clears throat> Go, just buzz these warehouses. Apparently this airstrip was not originally surrounded by homes, but as the situation usually is, uh, land developers bought them up. Yeah, I know. I'm planning to get the achievement. I hope it's... So I assume Jerry K9 in a Savage Cub is also doing the thing that I'm doing. Actually, I think they're both in Savage Cubs. Interesting. So this, this section of the trip might be the hard part, somehow. <laughs> Figuring out which of those runways to land on. I might be showing them all where to go. That could be fascinating, if they're all just trying to figure out which one of those spots to land on. I did my homework. There's two more Savage Cups coming out this way. Are, are these all people doing the bush trip? That's fantastic! <laughs> so many Savage Cubs! Take things you can only scream in flight simulator and when being mauled by a bunch of young bears. 4,000. Um, ooh, things just got a lot smoother. Must have stopped loading. <laughs> Cessna 208 and then a Boeing.
There's our highway down into the right. Oh, I've still got the flaps down. No one aren't flying so slow. Oop. Probably just damaged my flaps, so they'll be immediately gaining a ton of speed. <laughs> they'll probably be uh they might be an issue for later. I don't I didn't really need flaps on that takeoff. Lots of savage cubs coming up. Okay, let's get out of here before that becomes an issue. So you might actually run into a small crowding issue at these airports then. That's fascinating. I wasn't expecting this many other players to be doing this. <laughs> and we can't talk to each other at all. <laughs> So the game calls this uh, this airport Palomino. There are a large number of airstrips in Palomino. Uh, and this one appears to be called Gibb Ranch, which I find confusing because I wasn't aware that Canadian puppets could own ranches. But, you know, whatever. Um, what is that? It's like some random little service road into the woods. That kind of looks like a runway. Plenty of savage cubs out here today. I think Jerky, I think Jerry, sorry, <laughs> not Jerky, Jerry. I think Jerry is at our airport. And D Mourner is going somewhere else, I guess. Is that person in a savage cub? Can't tell. There, no, a couple of them are. They must be on the other leg, the coming back leg. I think. I have no idea, honestly. So many savage cubs. <laughs> it's a cub convention. Wait, that's a... Oh, no, I shouldn't. Nope, no, no, we're just going to leave that where it is. Uh. Alright, so this should be Palomino up here. So Jerry is taking off and getting out of here. So the landing strip should be in here somewhere. Should be. Keyword. Should. Look at all the savage cubs off to the left. Ola Scratch, Carmiac, they're both in Savage Cubs. I think this new guy that loaded in, Whoop, Whooputa, is in a Savage Cub. Just, uh, everyone is, everyone's flying the bush trip. That's fantastic. <laughs> it's going to make finding everything so much easier, I think. Also, uh, D. Morin appears to be pretty close. I'll have to be careful not to run into him. So I think it should be right around here somewhere. In fact, I think he might be landing on it. I'm trying to, anyway. We'll uh, keep our distance to the right. Okay, yeah, no. See, this is the two bigger runways that are right next to it. So it should be right in here. In fact, I think I see it. Yeah, I think he is landed on it. <laughs> I think this is our runway right here. I think this is the uh, the ranch. This is the uh, old runway over here. Yeah, I think this is it. Yep, he's there, all right. Boy, he sure came down at a sharp angle. <laughs> and then Jerky is here. We're going to just do a low flyby of this landing strip. I 
Okay, he does not appear to be moving, so now I'm worried he's flying directly towards me. So let's just bank to the right a little bit. Yep, he is. <laughs> Look, Mom, another player. I am freezing. I am freezing. I am freezing. Stop freezing. No, don't die on me. Don't die on me now. Game, no. No! Oh, oh we're back. <laughs> Yep, and all the other players have just disappeared. I assume that was my internet connection going away. Cool. Cool. <laughs> right, oh! Got other players again. There we go. Internet's back. <laughs> Alright, well at least now I know that wasn't my computer completely, um, completely dying on me. Let's... Pitch up and bleed off some speed. Flaps. As you can see, here's some of the uh, other runways immediately below me. There's so many landing strips here. These landing strips are also roads. It's two right below me, the paved ones. Get up a little bit higher in the seat so I can see what's going on. I really need to get rid of a lot of speed here. I think I got rid of too much speed there. Ooh, yeah, that worked a little better than I meant it to. We're very close to stalling. I'm gonna just keep it flat and get a little more. A little more. A little more. Don't freeze on me now, game. Please don't be landing right now, guy. Am I on the ground? I'm on the ground. <laughs> that was one of the smoother touchdowns I've ever had. Right, we're gonna just... I wonder if I just actually actually did show that guy which spot was the runway. I'm just gonna taxi back here to this little like turnout spot, and hopefully this will still count if I stop here, so I'm not in the way. Count. Count. Are you kidding me? This doesn't count? <laughs> Alright, I guess I have to... I guess I have to park on the uh, runway for a moment. How about this? Got like a wheel on. There we go, that counted. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna jump straight into the next one. Herlong. Herlong. Alright, we'll get in the air and then figure that out. Let me get off the ground. Don't want the map right now, thank you. Flaps retracted. Trim. Trim, okay. Yeah, we're golden. That was an easy takeoff. All right. <laughs> Okay, where are we going next? Take off from Palomino, head northwest, tracking with the road that leads into the mountains. Alright. So the road rolls on alongside the riverbed. Continue your northwest path. Ignore junctions until the road leads you out of the hills. Yeah, 
and into Dry Valley Creek. All these... Okay, I assume that one's going in the right direction. <laughs> it's the one that just landed with us. And there's Jerky, so... Sorry, Jerry. Oh, why do I keep calling him Jerky? <laughs> so I assume this is, in fact, the correct direction to go. So let's back off on the throttle. And as you can see below us, yet another landing strip. This is a glider port with at least two runways, possibly a third. I'm not sure. That one's like barely connected to the others. I don't really know. <laughs> Alright, take off. Okay, so head west along Dry Valley Creek into the canyons where the creek will run dry. A stop. Oh, that's, that's why I'm tilting. I've got my feet on the rudder pedestal. Bell still. There we go. Now we can fly nice and level. <laughs> I think I did inadvertently show that person where to land. Uh, Long Valley Creek. Uh, Dry Creek Press twists away northwest. In short order, another creek will merge with your path, flowing west toward the border between Nevada and California. Dry Valley Creek will lead you northwest toward the small desert town of Doyle, California. Oh, we're crossing into California. I've been to Doyle. On the western edge of Doyle 395 borders the town. Follow the road northwest till you reach an intersection with another thoroughfare, A26. A26 leads you north through several tracts of land, uh, neighboring farmland. Just head, uh, head, just head to the northwest is the runway for Herlong Airport. Oi. All right, we're gonna need a map. Boop, VFR map. Okay, so we are currently flying. So look at all the airports that you see just piled up on top of each other here. Those are the ones that we just were at. So there should actually be a paved runway somewhere around here. NV-23? Unless NV-23 is like the glider... That might be the glider port, actually. Yeah, these are a little more on top of each other. So yeah, I think this is the glider port. So we've we sure somewhere up here then. Uh, someone said Isoline map really helped. Can I Isoline? There we go. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy. All right, so I think we're looking for this creek. Which, maybe that? So I think the reason there are so many more Savage Cubs in this one than there were before is I was always flying on live multiplayer in my solo session, so I just launched a solo session real quick before I fired this up and switched to all players. So um, since the bush trips have locked weather, you don't show up to uh, you don't show up to live players because you don't have real time weather. So I was seeing only live players, I think, but not having myself visible to those live players. And then all the rest of the people doing this bush trip are appearing as just all players instead of live. And I assume it just keeps your last multiplayer settings, since there's I have not found a way to actually actively change the multiplayer settings for the bush trip. But uh, suddenly I have a whole lot more savage cubs in the air, so I assume we are on to something. Alright. Alright, so if I do get lost, I can just head west until I find 395 and then just follow that north. And that will... That will do me nicely. And it actually should be visible from 395. Look at all the Savage Cubs! Oh my gosh! I love that we've just got a, a Savage Cub party happening. This is phenomenal. So we're still down here, so we're looking for this riverbed. So I think I think this peak is that. 
and this is this feature over here. Perhaps actually that? Yeah, there's a lake. Okay, okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Yeah. Yeah, this is our lake right here. So we need to head off this way. I don't know what's going on with the mountain textures here. This looks kind of uh, kind of off. Okay, speaking of kind of off, that one looks kind of off, Mr. Blind Pilot there. this general direction. I assume everyone else is just doing this at full throttle, and I'm not because I just have a natural inclination to, like, not blow up my engine. <laughs> oh, he's actually really close. We can see him. Look! There he is! <laughs> I love this! I love that we're all here doing this together. It's a, it's going to get a little uh, a little troublesome because we all have to stop on on the, at least the dirt runways. We all have to stop like on the runway to get them to trigger. But still, this is cool. This is really cool. <laughs> so he wasn't in the ground. He was just slightly below us and flying roughly the same course. Seems to have missed the turn. Nobody tell him. Oh, actually, he he might just be going straight for it because that's like in that direction. The airport's over near Bull Scratch. So he might just be making straight for it. Whereas me and. Uh, D more and D are like kind of following the the directions that we got. So let's just actually just knock that off right there and nav log. So right now we are Dry Valley Creek, Long Valley Creek, head west along Dry Valley Creek into the canyons where the creek will run dry. Continue following the dry creek bed bed as it twists its way northwest. Short order, another creek will emerge with your pass flowing west toward the border of California. So that's this one, Long Valley Creek flows toward the California border, which is somewhere over here. So then we are looking for Doyle. Dry Valley Creek leads northwest to a small desert town of Doyle, California. So somewhere over here is Doyle. We'll go find Doyle. So is it nav N for Navlog? N. It that looks like an N, but I just hit N. And nothing happened, so I... Hell if I know. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, that was it. My keyboard thought I was holding the control key. <laughs> uh, it does that sometimes. So a lot of my keyboard shortcuts don't appear to work at first glance. I, I talk about attempting to not blow up my engine. I am flying with my oil pressure at, like... Five. I don't know what five is, but we're like five and a quarter. Can I bring that just back without falling out of the sky? No, that just doesn't. No? Alright. No. 4,000 RPM. Seems like a good enough spot to me. I'm just gonna enjoy a soda. Oh, my hard drive disconnected again. Dang it. I really wish my computer would stop doing that. Ah! 
and it's fine. So it appears to be able to connect and disconnect the hard drive without much di much difficulty. Savage, 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 A5, Tuba 5. Savage, Savage, Savage. <laughs> all these Savage Cubs, I love it. I don't even know if these people can see me. For all I know, they can't see me at all, because that one guy did just land completely opposite me. I got out of his way, and then he appeared to take off, but he might not have been reacting to me at all. He might have just been in that menu that popped up, and then just happened to take off after I was out of the way. Uh, more in here. More honor. Who knows? There's a bonanza. Haven't seen too many of those around. Hey, look, he found the right way. <laughs> I feel so slow puttering along with them all just flying past me. <sighs> At least he didn't hit me. Just taking my time, enjoying the scenery, letting things load in without killing my computer too badly. This is encouraging. It means these folks aren't cheating. They're actually like following the route. It's really cool. Like, I just assumed there would eventually be some kind of bug that just, like, tracks your... Like, something you can install. It just tracks where you are and tells you exactly where to go to the next waypoint. <laughs> but no, everyone appears to be actually, like, following the directions. It's really cool. Savage, 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 787. <laughs> Get with the picture, dude. Savage Club. Not 787 Club. This is bush pilot territory, not airliners. Far too easily entertained. There would be 395. So, Doyle, where on earth is Doyle? So, we're currently coming around here. So, Doyle should be like anywhere on here, I guess. And then just a straight shot to our airport if we follow like parallel with. 95 below us. Just gonna real quick check Google Maps and see which which one of these little places is Doyle. Doyle, California. Zoom. Alright. Oh, Doyle's up ahead. Uh, what am I seeing there? That is just a ranch. <laughs> This is just one single ranch. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright. I get it. That's cool. So Doyle is this way. Right now we've made it to 395. We're just gonna keep following this river. Blind Pilot and Company have indeed found the correct route, as well as Thumbs of Steel. So, Jerry appears to be in the correct spot right now, just if I had to guess. Why are we turning that way? Why are we turning? Why are... why? Why is the plane turning that much? What is going on with the weather? What is happening?
Okay. Okay. I think I did something. Holy crap. I think... There's no way this game is that buggy. There's no way this game is that buggy. Holy crap. So I think... I think I accidentally turned on autopilot somehow. Which this plane should not have. Because, I, so, my computer thought I was hitting Control-N when I was trying to bring up the, uh, the nav log earlier. I think Control-N turns on nav mode on GPS. Or, uh, not nav, uh, turns on nav mode on autopilot. <laughs> oh, gosh. Let's just check real quick. So I just hit the button to disengage autopilot, and then I suddenly got control again. Uh, so let's see. Controls. Give me a keyboard, please. Uh, I want to search by input. Control N. Nav one hold. <laughs> What? You're kidding me. So what course was it trying to hold there? Did Did we just figure out a way to cheat? I think we just figured out a way to, figured out a way to cheat. So we should be roughly on course. Let's control N. Yep, there goes the plane steering itself again. You are kidding me. This game has... This plane has autopilot. So if I'm right, this plane is now going to follow this line exactly. Also, I think this is our... This might be our road towards... Yeah, because that's where all those guys are. I am so disappointed. I can't believe I just accidentally stumbled into into cheating <laughs> by by my computer keyboard messing up. So, if this plane just flies itself right past this airport, then we'll know that this is in fact functional. If it flies me into the mountain, it's not functional. I am currently leaning towards not functional. Up. Hmm. Oh. It just updated something. Oh, that's Doyle. So if that's Doyle, does that mean this plane's not going to turn and point towards the next? Or do I need to hit control N again? Alright, well can I turn and or is it gonna turn me back? Yeah, it's turning me back. Okay. Okay, interesting. Um As much as I wanna see what happens here, I kinda don't wanna fly into the mountain. Uh, so I think we are currently right around... Uh, so Doyle should be right here. So this is the gentle curve to the left. So we are, like, here, flying towards this. So we're off the route. So it doesn't work well. But it does appear to function to a degree. So we're... Oh, wait, is it turning? I thought for a second it was turning. We're gonna, we're gonna put this until the point where it's about to crash me. And then we'll disengage the apparent autopilot that this plane has and go in for our landing. Uh, the airport being right there where all these people are. <laughs> I think this is Pyramid Lake. I'm just... I am... shocked that something like autopilot is in this plane. Good on fuel. Okay. 
This this video took a twist I wasn't expecting. Do I still have the autopilot on? Yes, I do. Alright, so it doesn't appear to be particularly good autopilot, so let's just turn that off. <laughs> the uh, autopilot off key is the Z key, if you have made similar mistakes to me and accidentally somehow engaged your autopilot, which this plane should not have. <laughs> wow, that was fascinating. I just happened to be flying in the right direction when I turned it on. <laughs> so the guy didn't even notice. That's incredible. I am grateful it doesn't appear to be particularly good on... Oh, maybe it was heading for this. Maybe it tried to get me on that leg. I don't know, because that looks like the return trip, maybe, is up there. Ooh, don't click that. Don't, you don't even let the mouse be near that. We're going to just turn this off now. I can't believe that works. So we're going to throttle back. And we're going to just keep pitching up as and flying level as we bleed off speed. All right, there we go. Now we're going to use our pitch to hold a nice descent. Buzz this runway down here, figure out where we want to land. Don't keep descending, Cub. There we are, that's a pretty good descent. All right, so judging from where Blind Pilot is, this will be the airport down here, somewhere. I thought this was a runway, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Yeah, smart view. Okay, yeah, that's, there's a runway. So I think if we want to be able to pull off the runway, so I can end this video <laughs> without blocking the runway, we're going to do a crosswind, downwind, base, and landing on this runway, going left to right. It's going to have to be our, our play here. Anyone remember what uh, what elevation this was at? It doesn't say. Cool. That's helpful. I, I appreciate that this guy is just sitting on the runway that we're about to land on because it just guarantees that my smart cam looks in the right spot. <laughs> Because it, it'll go for like either a landmark or the nearest player, and I can't seem to figure out how to make it switch between the two. Two, four, so the opposite runway is going to be 18 less, so it's runway six. Wait, is that two, four? Is that a 2-4? I've just done my pivot exactly on the number. Okay, I don't know what number that is. Oh good, he cleared the runway. 
Continuing our gradual descent. Appreciate that we seem to have found just exactly the trim for 500 feet per second descent at 2000 RPM and 100 knots. <laughs> it's just like a fantastic setting right here. Bring in one notch of flaps, hold the nose down. Gonna turn on to base. Actually probably just a direct turn on to final from how close we are. And look at those that truck just driving across the road, driving across the dirt. Wow, that was a really, that guy just drove across the runway. <laughs> All right, check for traffic, left, right. I think we're good. We've crossed the threshold. Power off. Ooh, that was a hard bounce. Ooh, I'm not great at the controlling on the ground thing. Flaps retracted. No brakes. No brakes yet. We need some speed to get to the uh, part where we turn off the runway. <laughs> Thank you for flying with me, blind pilot in jerky and uh, whatever the other, Moran was the other guy, I guess. I guess Drogster is over there somewhere. I didn't see what happened to Moran. Did Moran make it? I hope Moran made it. I'm really rooting for Moran. <laughs> I love that there's so many people doing this right now. So good. We are clear of the runway. A parking area here? Anyone? Parking? No? All right, then. Success? Success. <laughs> All right, so this, I, this appears to just be a direct road connection for this airport, which is fascinating, so you can bring your flying car and just drive straight onto the runway. That's how that works, right? <laughs> anyway, we did it. Leg complete, 29 minutes on that one. Next stop, Black Rock City. Oh my gosh. What part of this is runway? None of this looks like a, okay, maybe this. This might be a runway or possibly this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> eight eight NV. I can look that up. Eight eight NV. All right, so back into Nevada. It sounds like. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Elio Dare. You can find me on the internet at Elio Dare on Xbox Live, Steam, uh, Nintendo Switch, and Twitter. Of course, Twitter's the best place to get a hold of me. But of course, uh, Xbox Live. If you actually want to possibly pop up in the game with me, I'm on the West Coast server for the most part. Uh, so if you happen to be flying around on the west coast server in the afternoons and evenings you might see me in a in a savage cub up in northern nevada over the next few days <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching have a great day <laughs>